This is a simulation uh, showing you how you might use um, air quality monitoring uh, when you're outside going for a run or taking your kid to school. We are presented with a heat map and we can sort of see preliminarily what the current conditions look like. So we touch to start our run. So now we're running through northwest Portland. And we can see our air quality exposure is counting up because, we're, because of the, the exposure zone that we're in right now. So it's telling me if I go straight, the air quality is bad. If I go to the right, the air quality is good. So I'll go to the right. So the air quality is good and you can see the exposure count is going up very slowly right now. So now actually the zone that we're in right now is like not that great. So it's, it's counting, you know, pretty fast. And we're given uh, two options. Going to the left will have better air quality. Going straight will be, you know, all right. So let's actually go straight. So you can see it's still counting pretty fast. For this uh, simulated game, the screen is starting to get a little red to show you you're starting to get into the danger zone. You know, your exposure is really not that great right now. Um, but you could imagine a mobile app would actually be showing you that red, like see the, the screen is starting to tint red. And you can make a decision without it telling you, hey, I should get out of this area. So very red, our count is going up very high. And if you have severe allergies or asthma, this is going to be pretty bad for you right now. And then actually when we step off, we get added to the leaderboard. So this was, this was our run, and these are the past runs that just happened.